report from the Department of Labor finds an increasing number of American workers are outsourcing their jobs. For more on this crucial issue, let's go to Joshua Russell in the Money Room. Thanks, Brandon. For years, corporations have been outsourcing their labor to developing nations as a way to cut costs. But recently, many individual employees have been sending their own work overseas. I take the money that I would have spent on coffee and pay someone in India to do my job for me. It's allowed me to unleash my full potential. Philadelphia accountant Donald Felton outsources the majority of his daily workload to Jahanara Kashem, an accountant based in Bangalore, India. I get my assignment from my supervisor and I send it off to Jahanara. Sometimes I'll, I'll look at it when it's done, but usually everything's right. Mr. Kashem says he's extremely happy with the 68 cents an hour Donald pays him. I'm able to feed my family, and Mr. Felton can devote more time to his fantasy football team. And Donald is just one of the close to 700,000 workers who've come to rely on overseas labor. I've actually gotten two raises since Jahanara started. He's really good at doing my work. But it's not just lower-level employees who have embraced the trend. At Donald's firm, many senior-level managers are now outsourcing their jobs as well. Workers representing the company's executive officers meet via conference call every Friday. That is totally unsophisticated. will agree with those cuts. He feels very strongly we need the consulting we division. We need paradigm shifting okay, solutions. Let's dialogue okay, this out. Okay, we're all in the same team here. Some overseas workers have done so well, they've been able to outsource their own outsourced work to those even poorer than themselves. I pay a starving manager company one handful of rice per day to fill out the expense reports that are sent to me from the U.S. Analysts predict that if the trend continues by 2025, the world's poorest man, Ahmed Khalili of Afghanistan, will be doing 83% of the globe's work. It's a scenario that would suit Donald Felton just fine. I'm trying to get to a point where I can just lay in one place and not have to do anything ever. With the Onion News Network, I'm Joshua Russell. Thanks, Joshua. Personal outsourcing is expected to grow as much as 20% over the next five years, according to the Filipino team that completed the Department of Labor's report. Coming up next, a new study finds the meth epidemic is hitting worthless Americans hardest.